Hey, what's up? I'm Steve from Linux, by the way, and today I wanted to show you how to make a Windows installation USB key from Linux in case you get a swap back and forth or rescue a system. There are a lot of solutions out there and just purely incorrect information, so I want to make a quick video to clear all that up. You can't just DD an image, for example, to USB key, and the Woe Image USB has been abandoned for quite some time, and there's a newer solution called Ventoy, which is actively maintained. I mentioned in past videos that I didn't use Ventoy because it was less secure, because it includes binary blobs, which means that you just have arbitrary code running and that's not a good thing. However, since then, the developer has taken a lot of steps to make it more secure and more trustworthy, and there's a GitHub issue I'll put below if you want to check that out. For the USB key, I'm using the Samsung 128 gig black version. And as you can see here, I have some lines on there. I've used this several hundred times. It's a great USB key, always works. I put a referral link below so you can check that out if you're interested. The first thing we need to do is download Ventoy, which you can get at ventoy.net. And you can click downloads there and there'll be some binary packages. And you can actually run this on Windows also, so it's not just Linux. In our case, we're running Arch Linux. So what you can do is do a yay-s Ventoy and this will download it from their site and allow you to install it. And so you can see here we do that and it's going to download the Ventoy bin. In this case, it's important to note that it is still downloading a binary package. We didn't compile this from source up and so you'd have to check the repository and check the SHAs to make sure everything looks good and is secure if you're very security minded. The next thing we need to do is head over to Microsoft.com and find the download Windows 11 link and what you'll do here is you'll select the download, uh, select x64 and do that. And then there's gonna be a couple different prompts here where it's gonna show a spinner and then it will let you download it. The image itself is roughly six gigabytes. And so it takes a minute to download and I'll go ahead and fast forward through that and meet you at the end. As usual, the Arch Wiki has a great page on Ventoy. And if you get stuck, you can check that out and then fall back to the forums if that doesn't work. And then we can go ahead and launch Ventoy and we'll go ahead and do this. Then what we can do is take our USB key, go ahead and insert that into your computer. Once you've inserted the USB key, just go ahead and hit the reload button here and you'll see I have the 128 gig Samsung flash drive. And so that's where I wanna to write to. This is the most important step if you're watching this is that you need to make sure to pick the right drive. All of these programs really have no problem writing to a drive that you care about and you could lose data. So make sure you are selected on the right drive and make sure that the, like, the name matches, the size matches, and that you've double checked because you don't wanna write this to your main drive if you didn't wanna lose that data. Next, what we're gonna do is click install and it's gonna double prompt you to also make sure that you do what I said, which is double check everything. And so say, sure, we're gonna go ahead and do that. And that's going to format it. And now we have a Ventoy in device number here. And so you see uh, those two should always match because that's the version we use to install that. And you could also update it here. So if you had used this drive before, well now you can just update it. The next step is, is we're gonna take the ISO file we downloaded and we're just gonna drag that over to the new Ventoy USB image. So what Ventoy is gonna do is it installs a minimal operating system basically that's going to scan its own file system and then it's going to pick up the images you put there and allow you to boot off of them. So no sort of uh, magic with DD or writing bytes or installing in another bootloader or trying to get UEFI to work. Uh, Ventoy is gonna handle the initial loading of everything and then it's just gonna pick your ISO and you're gonna be off to the races. So let's go ahead and drag that over here. And what you'll see is, is that uh, this is gonna be dependent on your USB port you're using and the USB key you're using. And so mine moves pretty fast here. Uh, that Samsung drive, really good, love it. Uh, this is also some cache. So what we're gonna do is, is when this is done copying, I'm gonna pop open a terminal and I'm going to do a sudo sync. And that will just make sure that whatever is in our file system buffers or hasn't been fully copied to the USB key, that will make it all there because you could have a lot of issues if you thought you copied it and you pulled out the USB key too soon. It would be an incomplete image and all sorts of random things can happen there. So you definitely want to avoid that. So it says it's done copying and I'm gonna go ahead and run sudo sync here. And as you can see, when I run sudo sync, it doesn't exit immediately. And that means that there's still data being written to disk. Now, it could be a couple different things for this system because I'm recording this using OBS and I have various programs running in the background. So 
maybe it's not the USB and the sync command isn't granular enough to see that, but you know when this finishes that that file has been written. And so this might even take a minute or two minutes in your system because it's trying to write all of that data to that device. And there we go, the sync finished. So now it's safe to reboot or take it out and then boot off of that USB key. And then we should be greeted with the Windows installer. In my case, as we reboot, I'm hitting the F7 key to get in the BIOS and to boot off of my USB key. Yours might be different. Uh, usually it's like delete or F1 or F2 or F7 or F11. Uh, so it's definitely one of those keys probably, uh, but you might vary and you'll have to Google for your specific motherboard combination. So now that we're booted in the Ventoy, we can go ahead and select the Windows 11 ISO that we downloaded and then launch into that. And once we're in the Windows 11 ISO, from there it's a normal Windows process. We're gonna create a new partition, we're gonna delete any data that's still there, and we're just going to do a full Windows install and everything should just work. And I find this really handy for for my workflows because oftentimes I'm switching systems or I'm helping family and things like that. And so you definitely need to be able to make USB keys and it can be very tricky and just having this workflow means that I can help anybody out at a moment's notice. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other tips or tricks on this. Otherwise I'll catch you in the next one. Later.